I'm Robert Blythe and I'm Senior Curator of World and Maritime History. How do you get a ship in a bottle? Three, two, one. I'm not really sure I should tell you that. It's breaking the secret. <laughs> really meant to be a secret, but there's a special mechanism you use where you can draw a string which will raise the masts of the ship, so it actually makes it look as though the ship is far too big to fit into the bottle. Three, two, one. Some ships and bottles, of course, are very big indeed. Yunka Shinabari's Nelson ship in a bottle at Greenwich is sufficiently large that you can actually clamber inside the bottle so you could raise the masts by hand rather than pulling of a string. It's also covered with decorative motifs that relate to Britain's trade with Africa. So this ship in a bottle is full of history. Is there anything that you missed out? Well, not all ships and bottles are sailing ships. Some are steamships, and they're much easier to get in because they don't have masts. Three, two, one. Good. 